Super Smash Bros. Melee, a 20 year old game that's still played competitively and believe it or not, it is not too late to pick up a controller and start playing. The first question most people will ask is, what is the best character to pick when starting out? I've been wanting to know the answer to this question ever since I've started, but if you ask around, you'll get some pretty unsatisfying answers. I think starting with a boy character. I think Marth, Sheik, Peach. Peach, Puff, Icy, like it depends. With most ending up being something like... Have you said the character you've had the most fun with? Like I think that's like the correct answer. And while it's technically true, and that anybody should be able to win if anyone, that answer kind of keeps me up at night. Surely there's gotta be a way to answer this question using data or something. So in this video, we're gonna use tournament data and statistics combined with my own personal experience of running a Smash community of newbies, all in an attempt to answer, who is the best character to start with? But first, let's establish some context. Melee has a character tier list already, and it ranks them by how viable it is for a character to win a tournament when using them. However, this ranking doesn't really tell us who should I start out with, because this tier list is disconnected to how good a character is when starting out. For example, the top tiers are naturally some of the most commonly played characters, so sometimes a low tier character overperforms due to something called matchup unfamiliarity. Let's say Fox is the most popular character. People who play Fox will naturally spend most of their time preparing against other Foxes, Falcos, Mars, aka the other popular characters, since those are the ones you're most likely to encounter. But then you have someone playing Dr. Mario, someone who is lower in the tier list and way less popular. This Dr. Mario is starting the same match as Fox, the Fox, Falco, Marv, and so forth. And all of a sudden you have a situation where a newer Dr. Mario player catches a more experienced Fox player totally off guard because the Dr. Mario player is studying the Fox matchup. So if we can't rely on the tier list to answer this question, let's look at some data from some Smash tournaments. StarGG is a popular website that hosts tournament pages and thankfully it has an API that lets us get data out from it. But wait, how can we separate new players and how well they do with their character? All these tournaments are usually open to all skill levels, and honestly, a lot of new players don't even bother with these kinds of events. If only there was a tournament that excluded better players, while still having enough data to be useful. A tournament only for newbies. Oh wait, there is a tournament just like that. So using some fancy coding that I won't bore you with, we can get answers like, what are the most popular characters in a newbie tournament? Which kinds of characters win most of their matches? which characters are capable of winning a tournament full of all other newbies. I spent days coding, collecting data, and leaning on some of my really smart friends, all in an attempt to answer, who is the best character to start with in Melee using data? These are the characters who win my newbie exclusive tournament. As you can see, Fox, Falco, Mar, Falcon, and Sheik, they all do pretty well. And using this, we can create a tier list and see how strong a character would be when first starting out. It could look something like this. But wait, all I just proved was that these characters are the most popular in this particular newbie tournament. Well, you would be right. We have to cross-reference this with how often a character is picked to see how effective they are. And now we can compare to see if there are characters that are really popular but don't do that well, or characters that are less popular and seem to punch well above their weight. But we can do a lot better. Here is the data for all of the characters that get top eight in this newbie tournament. This tournament usually has more than 100 people, so this is a better idea of what characters tend to win most of their matches. Now we can see that Marf actually is way more popular relative to how often he gets top 8. Falcon does about as expected for as popular as he is. We see Peach slip down a little bit, form just as expected. Luigi begins to look a lot more underrated. And if we were to combine all this together, we would get a tier list that would look something like this. And now it's time for my conclusion. What is the best starting character in Melee? Fox and Falco are popular picks and do perform really well. They can demand a higher APM as you get better at the game, but they're by no means nerfed at a lower level. My theory is that with these characters really strong recovery and really powerful smash attacks, they perform really well at all levels. We'll put these two in the good to start out category. Marf and Sheik are both viable alternatives to Fox and Falco and demand way lower APM to get started. Some of their most powerful features and characteristics don't require mastering certain fundamentals to start winning games early on. We'll also put these two characters in the get to start out with category. Now I'll be honest here, I may have accidentally answered the opposite question. Which characters should you avoid when starting out? Jigglypuff is a standout character of someone who is really popular but doesn't actually win that often. Jigglypuff is pretty tempting for her very generous recovery and her ability to one-hit KO opponents. However, a lot of her weaknesses 
make this character really difficult in starting out. And to a totally new player, picking up Jigglypuff is not that different than playing Kirby. We'll put Jigglypuff in the avoid starting out with category. Falcon and Peach are both plenty strong at lower levels, but I'm going to put them in a warning zone. These characters are really frustrating to start out with if you don't understand certain fundamental parts of the game. Examples are DI, float canceling, L canceling, and so forth. Captain Falcon and Peach are characters I would say are strong, but maybe better to switch to after you've learned the game a little bit. Ice Climbers and Yoshi are two characters that really struggle and are kind of frustrating if you don't understand some of the fundamentals of Smash Bros. Ices in particular face a lot of stigma just for picking the character, so I wouldn't necessarily jump to the opportunity of starting out with these two characters. These two will also be in the avoid category. And now we have the rest of the low tiers. Pikachu. I'm amazed of how unpopular the character is with newer players. Pikachu has really strong smash attacks and a pretty awesome recovery that makes it more than enough to compete with other characters starting out. Yes, it might not be as broken as Fox or Falco, but honestly, if you're a big Pokemon fan, I wouldn't let any of that stop you from picking Pikachu. We're going to put them in a category that I'll call if you like them, you should play them. Mario, Dr. Mario, and Luigi. These characters are also fine and benefit a lot from your opponent not knowing how to play against them. They're not super overpowered like Fox and Falco, but they are pretty balanced. If you really like these characters, I think they're totally fine to start out with. So this leaves a ton of characters we haven't even mentioned yet. This is not to say I don't think you should play them, just know that historically it's kind of been an uphill battle for these characters. There's just less character specific resources for them but to bring this all back together, this data, it doesn't matter. And if it did, I probably screwed it up anyway. I'm caffeinated, but I am not a data scientist. So maybe a non-scientific answer is the one we're looking for. If you're having fun with a character, keep on doing that. As I was recording this video, a friend of mine, Mech, uploaded a random song that he wrote that could end this video way better than I can ever dream of. So that said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. You can do it no matter which character you play. Yeah, I'm Mac and I'm here to say, yeah, just play whoever you feel like playing. This game for fun, yeah, so now let's make a run. Top eight at a major, no worries, man, I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. DK, Ganondorf, Game and Watch, no matter who it is, you know I'm gonna win the match, bro. Just keep practicing, man.